as you can see this is called melanin in the pineal gland part one dr. Ann Brown which is another very very interesting scholar this lady is very brilliant she speaks about melanin in the pineal gland just like I said but she does it in her own, own outstanding unique way very intelligent lady I want to share some of her information with you also all right peace and blessings I was here last year and I did loving it in the inner ear. And today I'm going to take a look at the brain and do some uh, visuals with you and talk with you about information and research and uh, spirituality relative to the pineal brain or the epiphysis cerebri, that's the scientific name for it. Or the old name for it is conarium, which means a cone shape. Oregon. But before I go into that, what I want to do, uh, Dr. Richard King has uh, left some great works for us, uh, not left in the sense that he's gone, but he has provided us with some information. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out as an introduction by reading some of his information to you. But before I do that, I want you to recognize that in the male and in the female, there are orifices in which things go in and go out. In the female, there are 12 orifices lying with the lanocytes named melanin. In the male, there are nine orifices. Now, people who are in numerology, Brother Browder and so on, uh, 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 the nine will give you a total of uh, well, let's say the female has 12, that is 3, and the male has 9, that's 9, and 9 plus 3 will give you how much? 12, and then add 12, you get what? 3. A 3, and that's a complementary. Now, he can tell you what all that means. The Trinity, which means you've got to have the male principle, and you have to have the female principle, and that the male principle combines with the female principle through one of the main orifices, and that is the generative organs to make it look like that's the complementarity. But those uh, or orifices, as I said earlier, align with cells that we call the lanocytes. If you look at the Senegalese people, their lips are very, very dark. And then inside there is a red thing with blood vessels and you can separate it. So you gotta have a male principle, female principle. So we mentioned the doorway to the temple and the black dock. As I read this, I want you to close your eyes and think about those nine orifices in the male and twelve in the female, and think about the deeper meaning these words because I found them very powerful. Let me read that for you. Take a little time, but listen with your eyes shut. <laughs> All right, so here, here we go. The, the black dot, the ancient symbol for blackness, doorway to life, the hidden doorway, archetype of humanity, Universal laws written in the Black Sea, hidden in every dimension of time and space. All life comes from the Black Sea. All life is rooted in blackness. All colors of all vibratory energies were a shade of black. Black was the color of the night sky, primeval ocean of outer space, birthplace and moon of the planets, stars and galaxies of the universe. Black holes were found at the center of our own galaxy and countless other galaxies. Black was the color of carbon, the key atom found in all living matter of our world. Carbon atoms linked together to form black melanin, the first chemical that could capture light, uh, light and reproduce itself. The chemical key of life. And the brain itself, the chemical key to life. And the brain itself found to be centered around the black neural melanin, inner vision, intuition, creative genius, 
and spiritual illumination were all found to be dependent upon the pineal gland's blood-borne chemical messengers that control skin color. Black dot was found to be the hidden doorway to universal knowledge of the past, present, and future. Melanin blackness studies at least 300,000 years. The black dot, the hidden doorway through which the transforming soul energy of Uraeus passes. Uraeus is the symbol of the transforming energy for the soul. The seven levels of consciousness through which the black brain spinal cord endocrine relationship. Kued, the land of spirits and gods. The great lakes of Africa, Lake Mwanza, sometimes called Victoria, and Lake Rudolph at the head of the Nile, birthplace of the Egyptians. Pygmy, which are Twa people, parents of all humanity. That's very, very powerful. What that is saying is that there is blackness throughout the universe. Blackness in the outer space, blackness on the earth, blackness in your body, and we're here to explore some of that information. We've had some wonderful presentations to bring that out spiritually and otherwise. I'm an anatomist, hematologist, microbiologist for many years, etc. And went to medical school and I looked at many cadavers in the head area where we do a montage of the sectioning of the brain and the deeper we get into the brain, the more melanin we see, except in Caucasian bodies that we use, we don't see as much. All right, so I have slides to show you the anatomy of the pineal and I'm going to talk about the function and I'm going to talk about some spiritual applications that that, that gland is used and talk about its calcification and talk how you can get back and touch it if yours is calcified to reconstitute it so that it can work for you. So we can, we're going to deal with the pineal gland. But before we do that, look at the slide on the wall. This is not the molecule called melanin. This is what the Caucasians have pieced together. As Phil and I were talking, they, they, they can construct this based on a pulse. And that pulse is like a heartbeat. So they can capture a pulse. Then they, they um, interpret that pulse. Capture another. They try to interpret that. And then they put all that together. What this is showing is, uh, if we look over in on the um, part of the screen here, um, okay, I got it. Right here, can you see this? Yeah. All right, this says heme or bowel pigment. Heme is the color red of the red blood cells. It's the pigment of the red blood cell without the globin part. The globin part is the protein part. The heme is the pigmented part. So what happens when the red blood cells are worn out after about 120 days, I think it's less than that, but we have to use a standard number, uh, the cells of the spleen, located on your left side, the cells in there puncture a hole in the membrane of those old worn out red blood cells, and then takes it out, goes into the bloodstream, over to the liver, and the liver takes it through biochemical changes, splitting off the globin part from the heme, and the globin is recycled to make more hemoglobin, and the heme is degraded by catabolic actions down to its pigment, which gives your urine your color, and your species its color. So they have put together in this so-called melanin molecule nothing but body pigments. That's not melanin. A lot of the melanin in your system, and especially EU melanin, which means good, efficient, proficient, and otherwise, that U melanin that we have is dark brown to black. And there's a lot of sulfur in that chemistry that makes your skin brown to black or other parts of your body. The Caucasian people have a fake old melanin, it's just to show the slide of the spelling there. Fay old melanin has selenium as a part of its chemistry, which is 
a, a second type of sulfur. That's why there's the get black, except in certain parts. Can't get black in the skin because they mainly are a selenium type. I did lots of research with enzymes that have selenium that is foreign. I didn't even know why. I was working for them with their stuff. Look at this chiral ring over here. Chiral ring is a part of the one at the bottom here. I can't get this book. Somebody can show me now. The chiral ring here is a part of B vitamin. The beta carotenoid is a part of a B vitamin complex. Up in the upper right hand corner, ubiquinone is a part of the vitamin A. Riboflavin over in the left hand corner is a part of another B vitamin. And those rings in the middle are complex. So you don't have a melanin molecule that you can depend on that has anything at all to do with us. What I'm saying is that we are some people, part of our chemistry has to do with the hydrogens from the sun, four of them fused together gives us helium. So we're breathing in as sun people in the sun Heliums and hydrogen, helium molecules and hydrogen ions. And that is the basis of my telling people when I do the lectures on what to eat and nutrition and things. I tell people that we as melanated people should be eating uh, those fruits that are citrus in nature because they have a lot of hydrogens, uh, hydrogen ions, thus acid. And the sun has the same thing, so we're compatible with those fruits. Don't let anybody tell you that a lemon or a lime and any quantity will cause your kidneys, to, the tubules in your kidneys and the nephrons to be destroyed. That is not so for melanin people, it is so for somebody else. So our, our food should be that of the sun. The sun has cooked and baked that, those fruits and so on, and the vegetables as well. And you should be eating those. And unfortunately, I'll get to the point in a second, but unfortunately what they have done is that they have genetically engineered so much of it and also cut out farming in this country to a great degree such that imports of foods are brought into this country now more than ever. And I did a lecture on that. So that you can get a watermelon the whole year round. The correct thing to do is to eat fruits that are in season, grown in an area that you are used to, and that the client is that which produced you. And then when that changes, the other foods that are in season in that climb, you should be eating so that you get a vast array of minerals, vitamins, and nutrients that you need. Underground things for the winter, and not watermelons and so on, peaches in, in the winter and so on. That is not correct. That limits you, plus they're genetically engineered and nobody really knows the uh, defects that are involved in the biostructure of those chemically engineered, genetically engineered foods. So if you don't eat those foods that which contain all the nutrients and the pigments that you need to replenish the pigments in your body, which will disappear when their use is over, then you're not going to be able to regenerate those melanated centers, and we specifically will focus in on the pineal. All right. So this is a single glance to this text. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole, the whole body shall be full of light. Be full of light. That's in Matthew 6.22. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body will be full of light. You take a, a camera container or a film container and you punch a hole in the bottom of that film plastic container and use that to read a small in the newspaper print, you'll see that it's magnified three or four times. Why? Because the light is concentrated through a thin pinhole, making it more magnified. The smaller the hole, the more magnification it has. The wider the hole, the less